Our Last Call Spotlight tonight is fascinating. It's basically the story of the rise and fall of this guy who they basically call the Warhol of the web. His name is Josh Harris, and he basically made a lot of money uh, during the dot-com boom and then lost it all overnight. He's the subject of a Sundance documentary called We Live in Public. So you'll see the spotlight story on Josh. I highly recommend you stick around for that. Let's move on to the spotlight because it's really fascinating. It's the story of Josh Harris, who was a guy during the dot-com boom. He made like a million dollars. He was a millionaire overnight, and then just as fast, he lost it. People have called him an internet pioneer and a complete and utter nut job and everything in between. He was the subject of the grand jury prize winning film at Sundance called We Live in Public was based on him. So tonight in our spotlight, here's Josh Harris. There was a moment in time where I was worth $90 million. And now I'm broke. My name is Josh Harris. I make internet television networks. The internet companies that I started, Jupiter Communications, Lovey LLC, Operator 11, Pseudo Programs Inc. Pseudo was an internet television network. We employed 400 people. Uh, Little Wing, who is a new viewer. Pappy is a new viewer. We have some new people out there. Oh, boy. Where's getting around? We hoovered up the culture of New York City. If we were doing hip hop, Eminem in 1996 showed up in our shop. The technology people, any piece of culture that we could think of, we ran through our internet television network. Hello, I'm Josh Harris, president of Jupiter Communications. Jupiter Communications was the leading research and consulting firm on the internet. We got paid well for that. That's why the company went public and did very well. I was throwing parties before the wealth came in. It's part of my work. We do these interactive parties about once a month, bring down the uh, sort of different groups from downtown uh, New York, from arts and cinema. Quiet, the New Year's 2000 party. According to the Museum of Modern Art, it was the greatest party ever thrown in the history of New York City. I spent conservatively $3 million to produce that piece of work. Over the summer, I'm lying in bed with absolutely beautiful woman, Tanya Corrin. I remember waking up in the morning, looking over at her and telling her, hey, in, in a few months, we're going to put cameras all through the loft and we're going to live in public. I turn my camera on. I cut my fingers on. Every orifice of my loft was wired. It had infrared cameras in the bedroom, in the refrigerator, in the cat box, inside the toilet, looking up. That was the money shot. By the way, the key for this is we projected not only the stream that we put out, but the people talking about us on chat on the walls. So it wasn't just benign people watching us. They were actually became involved in our life. The crash began when I began living in public. I would click return on my computer and lose a million dollars in the stock market. Click it again, you lose a half a million. You click it again, you lose, you know, 300,000 in like the space of three minutes. And it kept going down, down, down. It wouldn't stop. And meanwhile, the, the, the internecine struggles between me and the girlfriend, it was finally coming apart. Damn it, leave me alone. Stop. That was one of the worst days of my life. When I built We Live in Public, I had a feeling that the devastation was going to come. I put the place up on the market because I'm going to quit living in public at the end of this month. Yeah, I lost $60 million from the bust. It hurts. It still hurts. So I purchased an apple farm, and for the next five years, I went to upstate New York, farmed apples alone on a farm. It was, it was more difficult than anything I'd done in New York. I learned what spring meant, and I learned what a harvest meant. I learned how to go a little slower and why that's important. You know, I found out who I really was and became the whole person that I needed to become. One day I wake up and I find out that we live in public, the movie, it wins the grand jury prize at the Sundance Film Festival. I've been pretty lucky. I've had a, an array of fantastic experiences. And by the way, I left the farm, and I, ever since then, I've been on the road. There was a moment in time where I had an opportunity to do something great, and I did it. I took that, I took that window of opportunity and, and went for it. <laughs>